Hello video creators. Welcome to HitPaw channel. As we know, TikTok is one of the most popular video platforms nowadays. A large amount of people upload cool videos on TikTok every day and many of them use CapCut to edit their videos. Indeed there are other video editors on the market, CapCut is the special one. It is made by ByteDance, the same mother company as TikTok. It is a free, all-in-one video editing app with quite a lot of features to help users create stunning and high-quality videos, available on both iOS and Android systems. Therefore, it becomes a wonderful tool for creators to make incredible stuff on mobile devices. If you are also interested in using CapCut to make your own videos, follow this tutorial to quickly learn the application. I will go into every detail in the order of editing and show you how to finish a complete video with the latest version CapCut. Start editing videos of your own from the beginning of 2022. Now let's get started. Open CapCut, tap New Project. You can select the media files on your phone to import. The stock videos contain some templates provided by the app. You may select whatever materials you need. Here I will select this video as the main track. I find these clips from pexels.com. I will use them to complete a full video. The selected material will be displayed here. Then tap add. This is the main interface of CapCut. We can change the export settings here. The upper arrow is the export button. The preview area is in the upper part. This is the play and stop button. The right side is the undo, redo and full screen button. The area below is the timeline, where we do most editing. The white line is an indicator showing what frame we are seeing. We can tap the play button to play, or use our fingers to drag in this area to preview the video. The icons down below are tools and effects which can be applied to the videos. When we begin to edit, there will be extra parts which we don't need when filming. So, the first thing to do is to check the video and remove the part we don't need. Here we'd like the video to end from where the girl puts her hands down. Select the clip, then tap split, the clip will be divided into two from the frame we locate. Now select this clip, and tap delete. It is removed. In the end of the video we can see CapCut's ending animation, if you don't want to keep it, just tap delete to remove it. Now we have the main video here. When you record yourself talking before the camera, and the background is messy, or you use a green screen as background, you might want to remove and replace it with another background. It is easy to achieve that. Select the video, tap Remove Background. CapCut can recognize the people and the background itself, then do the removal automatically. It works best when you have someone in the scene and the background isn't too complex. To add a new background, find Canvas and tap on it. Here we can change the background color. The person and the background are well matched with each other. Apart from single color, there are other styles of background. We can import images as background, or select the default types. Quite a lot of choices. I will just pick this picture. This is what it looks like when applying blur effect to the background. Alright, now we switch it back. This is the new background. Now we will add introducing text to the video to make lower thirds. Tap the text icon. Add text. We can type in the contents, like hit paw. Then change the text style, lots of settings here to be customized. The effects contain some default presets. Or use bubble design. Or add some in and out animation. The font can also be changed here. I will use this purple bubble design as purple as the channel color. Then add a stroke to the text. Now we can drag and place the text here. We also need to add some in and out animation so that it will look more comfortable. Next, we need to decide where the text shows up. Hold the text clip and drag to a proper place. Drag here to change the video duration. The girl in the video is showing us something. We will use overlay to achieve that. The line above the video indicates where the effect starts and ends. Now we tap Overlay, Add Overlay. Select the media file you want to import. I import a subscription animation with green background. The clip is at the top of the main clip, and it lays in the second layer in the timeline. This is what the overlay effect does. 
I intend to put it where the girl points to. But before that, we need to remove the green background. Select the clip and tap chroma key. Drag the point to pick the green color. Then adjust the intensity and shadow until the green background is removed. Then place it in the proper place. To avoid that the clip pops up abruptly, we can add some animation to it. Select the clip, then tap animation. Then we can add in, out or combo animation to it. Here are different forms of animations and the duration can also be changed. One thing to mention is that we can't add both in and out animations to the same clip. If we want to have both in and out animation, we can copy the clip and drag it beneath the previous one. Cut them from the middle and delete the overlaid part. Then we can add animation to each of them. The plus icon here is for adding new video clips. Tap it and import a new video. Then make it an overlay track. Use two fingers to scale it and place it in the top left corner. Now we want this video to scale up and cover the whole screen, so we need to use keyframes to do that. Select the clip, tap on this icon, a mark will be added to the video. This is where the keyframe animation begins. Then slide a few frames and add one more keyframe. Scale up the video. Now when we tap play, we can see the animation. If we want to make the animation look more smoothly, we can use the speed feature. Tap on speed. Normal speed can change the speed of the whole clip, we may slow it down or accelerate it. The curve allows us to change the speed ramp. Here are some default presets, but I would prefer customizing it myself. We can add beat or delete beat. Drag the beat down means slow down, drag it up means speed up. We can adjust the curve to create more smooth animation. Here I quickly import another 4 video clips and cut out the extra part. I want the camera movement of this video is away from the ground. But it is moving the opposite direction. So we can use reverse, then we can get the movements we want. I import another video. Now you can see that the timeline is too long and we can't see the whole of it. It is easy to fix this. Just use two fingers to drag the timeline, then we are able to zoom in and out to better observe the editing. The icon between every two clips is the transition button. Tap on it, and we can choose plenty of transitions to add. Some of the transitions are commonly seen on TikTok or other video platforms. You may discover that yourself. Here I am not planning to add transitions because there is no need to do so for this video. When the color tone of different video clips are not compatible, we can do the color grading to make the editing look more natural. Select the clip we want to change, and tap adjust. Then we can change the brightness, contrast, saturation and many other parameters here. I change the temperature and hue to change the color a little bit. Alright, now the color of these two clips look closer. You can do more adjustments if you like. Apart from adjusting the color tone. We can use filters to quickly do this. Tap filters, here are quite a lot of presets to be added. Select one you like and tap the tick. Now a new filter track has been added to the timeline. We can decide what part to be affected by the filter. After that, we can also add some effects to the video. Find effects and tap on it. Choose video effects first. There are also lots of cool stuff for you to explore. Try using them to reach unexpected outcomes. Now let's look at body effects. It is suitable for adding to people. Quite a lot of cool effects to choose. This one looks perfect for this video. So I will add it. This is how the effect looks like. The 
The sticker feature is also one of the cool features. Sometimes it is really useful and can greatly save your time. We can use the tracking effect to make some stuff. Drag the tracking point to the area where you want to track. Then place the sticker inside the tracking area. Then tap on tracking. When completed, we can have this tracking effect. Now we need to give the video an ending. I will use a text preset to make the ending. Select this subscribe animation and apply it. If you have voiceover in the video, you can use auto captions to generate captions automatically. You can freeze one frame by tapping the freeze icon. We can add keyframes and use graphs to adjust the animation speed, similar to changing the speed ramp. We can use voice effects to change the voice in the video. We can change the clip's opacity. Stabilize the video if there are shaky movements. Use mask to do some special effects. Enhance and retouch the face, body or even reshape the people in the video. Change the video ratio. Add 3D effect to images. And many other effects waiting to be discovered. The video is almost done. Now we need to add some sounds as background music. Tap on audio, sounds. Here we can either import music from our devices, or use the default music. I will select a music from the library as background music. Then add the fade effect so that the music can have a smooth in and out effect. Now the music isn't long enough to match the whole video, so I copy it and combine them together. Then delete the extra part. The video is almost done. Now we will make a cover for it. Tap on cover. Here we can use some cover template or upload the cover ourselves, or add text and make one by our own. I will use the template to save some time. Alright, now the whole video is completed. We can tap on play to preview the video. when everything is okay with you. Here we can choose the export settings. I prefer to choose high resolution and high frame rate. Then tap export. When it is finished, we can view it in the albums. This is the full tutorial of CapCut Video Editor 2022. If this video helps, you can hit the subscribe button and watch more of our tips and tracks for your video creating. This will really help us a lot. Thanks for watching. See you next time.